Alright, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Ahava Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am Mashiach, I rise a and uh, pretty much uh, this is basically going into the inflation of the rising of the food prices in the stores. All right, and uh, Lord willing, it's that's satisfying. So, you know, this um, article is from uh, CNBC News. All right, and it says, Economy. It says inflation rose 7.9 percent in February as food and energy costs push prices to the highest in more than 40 years. All right, and uh, we're just gonna read the key points and then I'll just play the video. It says the consumer price index for February rose 7.9 percent from a year ago, the highest level since January 1982. It says. Excluding food and energy, both of which moved sharply higher during the month, it says core inflation rose. Inflation still rose 6.4 percent, in line with ex expectations, but the highest since August 1982. Gas, groceries, shelters were the highest contributors to the CPI again, a CPI gain. So like it onto prices ease it says workers paychecks fell further behind as inflation adjust earning dropped 0.8 percent in february contributing to a 2.6 percent decline over the past year so people's paychecks even fell behind all right and here's a video they have right now going into that The high water mark here was actually up nine tenths. So we, we have a bit of a reprieve there. If you strip out the all important food and energy, exactly as expected, up 0.5. That also has had a high water mark of up 0.9. That was all the way back in April of last year. Now we get to the money numbers year over year. As expected, it's 7.9% for year over year inflation uh, following 7.5 that could get revised. That's bad. Do you see the inflation on the list? That's bad, man. Look at that. That's a huge decrease. All right? That's a huge decrease, man. 7.9. We go to the Wayback Machine to find a higher level of inflation. You're looking at 8.4% in June of 82 is your comp. 
and on the year-over-year X food and energy known as core exactly as expected up 6.4 percent of course six percent's in the rearview mirror that still may get revised 6.4 percent well that comps to the same as the six percent 1982 august of 82 when it was 7.1 percent now on initial jobless claims we're expecting an now it's increasing so you see how it was it was going down on the economy but now the inflation is rising that's that's high man number right around 217,000 well 227,000 is the number from a slightly revised 216,000 so it's up 11,000 remember the post-covid low going all the way back into those wild 60s was 188,000 that was back in December I believe the first week in December and finally continuing claims always a week in arrears this is February 26 1 million I'm sorry uh uh, 1,494,000, 1,494,000, and that sequentially follows the slightly revised 1,469,000. The low watermark there was a couple weeks ago, 1,474,000. So these are good numbers. Maybe continuing claims isn't as good or initial claims, but they're still very good numbers. The big news obviously continues to be the push and pull of geopolitics into a treasury market much more at least price wise and statistically concerned with what's going to happen on march 16th the upcoming beginning of a tightening cycle already telegraphed to supposedly be one quarter of a point and of course this inflation news is going to be tough for the administration nothing joe nothing has been more politicized than inflation just let's harken back to all the things we've been through first it was transitory then inflation is good then we went to corporate greed now we're at putin listen it's probably all the above but no matter how you slice it it's all about commodities for the most part and king commodity is energy and most people in the united states are reminded of that about what every three to four days when they go fill up their tanks back to you it is uh, becoming very apparent to, to all of us, I think, at this point. It's out there. Uh, it's out there. Rick, Steve Leesman joins us now uh, with more. Hey, Steve. Joe, I want to give you a headline here. Um, the Bank for International Settlements, this is the Central Bank for Central Banks, has suspended Russia right now. Um, you may not remember, but I, uh, a couple weeks ago, I did point out that the BIS was a potential way around Russian uh, U.S. sanctions and Western sanctions against Russia. It had something like 25 billion in reserves in there. After I reported that, the BIS clarified that it would not be a way to circumvent the sanctions. Now it has suspended uh, Russia from all services, including settlement uh, and, and uh, meetings and other activities uh, for Russia. You have to be very bad to get kicked out of the BIS because they tolerate an awful lot, try to be neutral in all situations. I think they only used to kick out people who were under UN sanctions, so that's a big deal. On the inflation front, no good news. Food up 1%, likely to go higher. I am uh, struck, still struck by the uh, conversation I had with the economics minister of Ukraine uh, uh, earlier this week where he told me that this is the planting season in Ukraine. And if it's not planted now, it's not coming. And that a lot of the, uh, the land that they uh, farm there is in places where there's military activity. Food away from home a little bit better, zero for apparel up strong. Uh, gas up 6.6% now. Uh, estimates are that it goes up 20% in the next month. Apparel up 0.7%. Also, with this whole idea of, of prices are rising, we were not in a good place going into this inflation-wise. We will be in a worse place, at least in the months ahead, Joe. So there you go, man. Inflation of foods, inflation of gas. All right, this is bugging a lot of people out. And you notice you heard that in, in Russia, they put a sanction on the bank. So that means that they probably can't even take anything out of their bank accounts. It's basically on a, a pause, a froze, all right? And this is what is going to take place over here in this place called America pretty soon, all right? There's a lot of things taking place all right you can't be treating this place as your resting place this is why the, the the scriptures say you know not to treat this place as your rest you know that's why the elders and apostles of great millstone sincere brothers we always say all right this place is not your rest look at all these things that's happening the inflation the increase of food and gas man you know this place is through and you want to still enjoy this place 
You want to still sing Kumbaya here and still feel comfortable here? You better think again. It says inflammations grew worse in February. It says amid the escalation, the escalating crisis in Ukraine and price pressures, all right, that became more entrenched. All right. It says the consumer price index, which measures a wide ranging basket of goods and services, increased 7.9. The increase, man. Inflation, man. It says over the past 12 months, a fresh 40, a fresh 40 year high for the closely followed uh, gauge. It says, according to the Labor Department's Bureau of Labor Statics. All right. Now, I'll probably read like to like right to right here to food prices and then brothers you want to check this article out you can this is what the name of the article is on uh c uh cnbc news but uh i don't want to because my video is already like 10 minutes in you know what i mean so i don't want to make this long i just want to get after this gets mainly to the precepts you know it says the february acceleration was the fastest price since january 1982 back when the u.s economy confronted the twin threat of higher inflation and reduced economic growth. It says it says on a month over month basis, the CPI gain was 0.8%. All right. Economists surveyed surveyed by Dell Jones had expected headlines inflation to increase 7.8% for the year and 0.7 for the month. It says food prices rose 1% and food at home jumped 1.4 percent it says both the fastest monthly gain since april 2020 in the early days of covid uh covid pandemic so this is exactly what is happening man all right if you look up it also goes into energy all right but there's a lot of things that's taking place all right there's a lot of things that's going on inflation of food prices inflation of gas this is bugging a lot of people out man people is not going to be able to handle this type of situation and let's let's get some scriptures out this is micah 2 and 10 it says arise ye and depart for this is not your rest it says because it is polluted it shall destroy you even with the sword destruction right this place is not your rest this is the time to try to live a lavish life and to be a billionaire and to try to be an entrepreneur and all this other stuff your mind is to be focused on your how about If you are a so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indian, all right, we are the true Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. And our main goal is to be set in our mind on the most high, your how about setting our affections on him and doing his will, doing the will of the Heavenly Father, serving the Lord with fear and trembling. All right, because the times that we're coming into is, is not going to be peaceful. All right, it's not going to be on that. All right, that's why the scriptures say Micah two and ten, because this place called America is not your rest. All right, Micah two and ten, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. This is not your rest. Don't be trying to be a millionaire, an entrepreneur. Now, if you got to work, we all got to work, you know, including myself. You know, we got to work, you know, to make a decent amount of income. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you try to make two hundred k, you know, three hundred, four hundred k, you want to be an entrepreneur. You want to have your own big businesses and you know be a be a billionaire this isn't this isn't the time for that man this isn't the time for that this is not our kingdom it's not our rest man all right it says because it is polluted it is polluted it shall destroy you even with the sword destruction so if you treat this place uh as your resting place you're going to be destroyed all right because you're going to get caught up in the unawares which goes to luke 21 34 through 35 all right you're going to be destroyed you didn't do nothing to glorify the lord you never you didn't do anything here on this end while you're in this captivity to glorify the lord you didn't do nothing for the lord all right and you don't want to be that individual you you want to be doing the will of yahweh you know striving to receive salvation you know because this place is through all right this place is through this is isaiah 24 bring this out again in verse 10 it says thy city of confusion is broken down which is babylon the great this place called america it says every house is shut up that no man may come in because it's going to come to a time when you go into the scriptures of second edris and i'll get that out right now this is second edris 15 to 17 
it says a man shall desire to go into the city and shall not be able you're not going to be able to go into the city because it's going into it's going into what martial law in that time all right you're not going to be able to freely go into the city you're not going to be able to freely do what you want you're not going to be able to do that no more all right like how you do how you are able to right now all right I read it again this is isaiah 24 and 10 it says the city of confusion is broken down which is babylon the great this place called america it says every house is shut up that no man may come in and that's going into martial law all right because you're not going to be able to go in and out all right you're not going to be able to do that all right the cities and everything is going to be closed you know businesses is going to collapse more because that's what's happening man all right people can't afford to keep their businesses Verse 11, it says, there is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. All joy is darkened. There's an inflation on gas prices. Gas went from, because I'm from, I'm out here in uh, Nevada. Well, back then, let me see, 2020, gas was $2.67 out here. Now, it's five something, 501, 502. It, it's skyrocketing. All right. It, it jumped three, four notches, man. You know? So all joy is darkened. People paying people that has regular cars instead of putting twenty dollars in to fill their tank, they got to put seventy to eight, seventy to eighty dollars in their tank to fill their tank up. I put sixty five dollars in my tank now. I used to be able to put twenty dollars in my tank, and my tank will fill up off twenty dollars. Now I got to put sixty to seventy dollars in my tank just to fill my tank up. And I, I I got a regular vehicle car, man. I don't have a, a SUV. So you can just imagine a person that has an SUV Escalade. How much gas they got to put. They got to put damn near $150 worth of gas to fill their tank up. You know? Because $10 ain't even going to boost your gas up a notch. It's not even going to go up a notch. You might just get one gallon and some change. Just for $10 to put in your tank now. You know? That's that's putting people, you know, uh, in a risk of not even having a job. You know? It says the merit of the land is gone. Verse 12, it says, In the city is left desolation, and the gate is smitten with destruction. And that is what is getting ready to take place. All right? That's exactly what is getting ready to take place. All right? And this is Isaiah uh, 50. And, um... It's like, I think it's 51. Uh... Salakia. It's Jeremiah 50. It's Jeremiah 50 verse 1. It says the word that the Lord spake against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans, who is Esau, by Jeremiah the prophet. It says, verse 2, it says, declare ye among the nations, publish and set them up a standard and publish and conceal not. Say Babylon is taken, which is this place called America. Baal is confounded. Murdoch is broken in pieces. Her idols are confounded. Her images are broken into pieces. All right. And this is what is happening right now. America is falling apart. Babylon the Great is falling apart. And that word Babel means what? The great confusion. Verse 3, it says, For out of the north cometh up a nation against her. All right. North Korea, which shall make her land desolate and none shall dwell therein. It says they shall remove. They shall depart both man and beast all right it says in those days and in that time saith the lord it says the children of israel shall come it says they and their children of judah together going and reaping they shall go and seek for the lord their power but the main thing is what the main thing was in verse 2 all right it says declare ye among the nations publish and set up a standard publish it says conceal not babylon is taken Baal is confounded murdoch is broken down into pieces it says her idols are confounded her images are broken into pieces everything that america has is falling apart all right everything is falling apart jeremiah 51 and 1 thus saith the lord behold i will rise up against babylon who is babylon babylon is this place called america it says it says and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind right a destroying wind verse 2 it says and will send unto babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land for in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about all right and this is what is getting ready to take place man 
all right this place called america is going to be destroyed with thermonuclear fire man a destroying wind man all right that's why you don't want to be in this place this place is going to fall apart all right this place is going to fall apart get a precept out jeremiah 30 verse 5 for thus saith the lord we have heard a voice of trembling of fear not of peace we are in the time of fear we're not in the time of peace verse 6 as ye know and see whether a man do travail with child wherefore do i see every man with his hands on his lines as a woman in travail a man doesn't travail with child a woman does all right now word travail it means uh suffer pain or painful efforts and that's what travail means all right it says and all faces are turned into paleness feeble and weak people is bugging out right now in california gas is seven dollars people six to seven dollars people is bugging out all right even where i'm at you know our gas is at six i mean five bucks but people is bugging out right now man some people can't afford that you know and i was reading an article yesterday it said uh families will have to increase on paying for gas within a month or two you know two thousand dollars that's a lot of money man that's a lot of money how are you gonna be able to how are you gonna be able to to, to be able to afford to pay for that much gas within two months three months that's a lot man that's a lot of money you know that's so people is bugged out right now verse six it says as you know and see whether a man do a travail with child wherefore do i see every man all right with his hands on his lawns as a woman in travail and all faces are turned to boundless people is people and weak and people is bugging out all right verse seven alice for that day is great so there's none like it and i said this many times before we know what that means alice is great for that so there's no time like it because the time that we're headed into all right this is going to be a global thing this is going to be a, a global thing all right not just in america not just down south this is going to be a global thing all right no electricity an emp attack man all right a global economic collapse all right this is the time that we headed into this is worse than any period in history any period in history man all right you ain't gonna be able to go to the south and go to the north and go to the or go to the north and go to the south to escape this This is going to be global all right it says it is even a time of jacob's trouble and that's the time that we're coming into all right it says but he shall be saved out of it and that's talking about the elect lord willing that we are that number all right but we gotta we we gotta we gotta go through jacob's trouble we gotta adore through jacob's trouble first so before we can even be saved man all right so this is why you want to be built up in this thing man that's why you want to come out of the ways of society because let's see what the scriptures say and uh this is romans chapter 13 and 11 this is romans 13 and 11 it says and that and that knowing the time that now it is a high time to wake up it's high time to wake out of sleep all right and what sleep is that talking about going home and taking a nap no all right it's talking about what spiritually asleep because you jake's out there is walking out here spiritually asleep all right you're not looking at the things that are taking place around you for now is our salvation nearer than we believe our salvation is right at the foot in the your feet right there at the door right there at the starting line finish line man all right right there at the starting line so like it you know these are the times that we're coming into so you don't want to be treating this place as your rest all right you don't want to be doing that all right you want to you want to be examining yourself and preparing yourself as the lord said right, i'm gonna get one more precept out and uh we'll end it with this this is second address nine and one it says he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself and this is what the angel said unto Ezra. all right he said measure thou the time diligently in itself all right it says and when thou seest part of the signs past which i have told thee before so right we are to measure the times diligently in itself that's why we're looking at the, the these things that are taking place how things are taking place way out in ukraine how things are taking place out in russia how things are taking place out in israel because we're measuring down the times diligently in itself we're being those uh, righteous newscasters starting from the elders and apostles of great millstone on down to the sincere buzz like ourselves we're watching the things taking place across the world all right regardless if it's happening in america or it's not we still measuring the time diligently in itself that's the whole point you know so hey man inflation is is really taking place all right and it's going to bug a lot of people out it's time to repent come out of the ways of this society and seek the lord and the only way you're going to be able to seek the lord is through his prophets who are the elders and apostles of great millstone so hey man 
I just had to do a lesson on this. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Till next time, I say, Shalom.